All right. Hi, everybody. Um, it's me and Miranda, Evie and Miranda. We're going to go through a vinyasa flow. So if you like our vinyasa classes here, uh, this is one of the flows that you'll probably want to do at home during our little quarantine. Um, hopefully you guys can all hear me. You can watch me and her as we go through the class. We haven't decided how long it's going to be yet, so we'll kind of just, uh, just gonna wing it. decide that and wing <laughs> it first video. So everyone um, can get on their mats, and you can start off in child's pose. So go ahead and do that now. So make sure you bring your knees wide. You sit your butt back to sit on your heels. Allow yourself to fold down and forward. Let your forehead hit the mat. Reach your arms forward. Just start to lengthen out like you do in the beginning of your class, making sure your elbows are lifted off of your mat, making sure your hips are connected to your heels here, close your eyes, start to breathe. Your breathing is so important in a vinyasa class, so making sure, especially now more than ever, that your breath is slow and steady. Let's go ahead and take two breaths in together. So inhale through your nose. And exhale, let it go. And inhale for one more. And exhale, let it go. When you're ready, slowly pulling yourself up to your tabletop position. And let's take a few cat cows. So inhale, drop your belly, gaze lifts for your cat. And then exhale, press the earth away from you, open up your shoulders, bring your chin into your chest. And then inhale for cow, drop your belly, look up. And exhale for cat, round your spine, expand your shoulders, chin into your chest. Let's do two more on our own, breath in, breath out. One more, inhale together. And exhale together. Coming back to your neutral table, finding your first downward facing dog. So curling your toes, lifting your hips up. And then when you land here, just start to pedal it out. So I'm assuming that most of us that are watching this video are a little bit tight. We haven't been in the studio for a couple of days. So just kind of open up, maybe move your head from side to side. You can lift your right leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip, dropping that leg back down, switching sides. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can do right now. And then maybe when you feel like you're a little bit warmer, just settle into your downward facing dog. So with every breath in, you wanna press into your palms, lift your hips high. And then with every breath out, press your heels down to your mat. So activate those calf muscles here, activate those hamstrings, Come all the way onto your tippy toes when you're ready, and then press your heels all the way back down. Take a breath in with me. Open up your mouth, let it go. Look at your hands, and let's step all the way to the front of our mat. So as many steps as it takes, straight legs. Grabbing opposite elbows, framing your head. Fold forward for ragdoll. So just allow yourself to be like dead weight here. Maybe setting an intention for your practice. While we know the situation is not ideal, it's so important that we take time to come to our mat still, even if it's at home. Even if you only do 10 minutes of this class, drop your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain. First Sunday, reach up. Take your back bend here, guys. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, let's step to our high plank. Our favorite, chaturanga. So stay here for a moment, start to warm up our core. So go ahead and just shift your hips from side to side. We'll do five of these, we'll do four of these, we'll do three, two, one. Coming back to your high plank, shift forward, look towards the top of your mat, set your drishti, lower down, low plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, pull your upper body through. And then exhale, downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale, two breaths, breath in, exhale. Inhale again, breath in, open your mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Look at your hands, walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. Reach up, take a back bend. And then exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, step back, high plank. Look towards the top of your mat, lower down, low plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. One breath, inhale together. Exhale, let it go. Look at your hands, walk to the front of your mat. Last time, last Sunday, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, reach up, take your back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank. Low plank, up dog, down dog. So every time you get back to your down dog, it's just a little bit of a reset. So we just want to pedal it out here. Our body is getting a little bit more open. We're igniting that inner fire in our belly. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, one more. Open your mouth, side out. Look at your hands. Jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Ukatasana, our favorite chair pose. So sit your hips down nice and low. Squeeze your thighs and your knees together. Sit as low as you can. Lift your upper body up. Take a breath in with me and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga, flow it through. You can step or jump to your plank as you get more warm. Right leg lifted up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Move that ankle around here a couple times and then step that foot forward, warrior one. So step forward, rise up. 90 degree bend in the right knee. You're pressing against the outer edge of the left foot. Arms are up, elbows by your ears. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Inhale, get lighter. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale, take a back bend. Exhale, chaturanga. If there's a three-legged flow in your practice, feel free to start to play with that. Lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. Move that ankle around, warm it up. Step into your hands, warrior one, rise up. So same thing. 90 degree bend in the left knee. You're pressing against the outside edge of the right foot. Hips squared, arms up, elbows by the ears. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Sit a little bit deeper, reach up a little bit taller. Take a baby back bend and then flow it through. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, three breaths. Inhale together, exhale. Breath in, breath out. One more, guys. Inhale with me. Open up your mouth. Let it go. Look at your hands. Jump to the front of your mat or walk. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose. One breath. No hesitations. Exhale. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Right foot. Warrior one. Rise up. Take a back bend. Hands to the mat, flow it through. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Left foot to your hands, warrior one. Take a back bend, flow it through. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Breath in together. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth. Look at your hands, walk or jump, front of the mat, halfway lift, fold forward, Ukatasana chair pose. Come onto your tippy toes this time, so see if you can get those heels up. Start to make it so that your legs are working. The lower you get, the more that fire burns in those thighs. Squeeze your knees and your thighs together. You can see Miranda's taking different variations with the arms. So find your own expression, sink a little bit lower here, hold it, three, Two, one, fold forward, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, let's flow. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, right foot steps, warrior one. Now inhale, reach up, exhale, open warrior two. Evenly stacked, right arms in front, left arms behind, making sure your arms are parallel with the earth. Sit deeper into that right knee. Reverse your warrior, stretch it out, cartwheel your hands, and let's flow it through. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot to your hands, warrior one. You guys having fun yet? 
Inhale, reach up, and then open to warrior two. So again, stacking, take the left knee, push it out a little bit. Left knee is in a 90 degree bend. Your arms are parallel with the earth. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, carvel your hands to the mat and flow it through. Inhale together, exhale, side it out. So just breathing here in your down dog. Remembering if you ever need to take a break, you can drop to your knees, you can take child's pose, get a sip of water, whatever you need, when you need it. It's important to listen to your body at all times. So take two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. Breath in, breath out. Look at your hands, walk or jump, front of the mat. Let's flow a little bit, halfway lift, full. Chair pose, one breath, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, right foot, warrior one, warrior two, reverse your warrior, carvel your hands, flow it through. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left foot, warrior one, warrior two, Reverse your warrior, cartwheel your hands, flow it through. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. One more time, right leg, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior, cartwheel your hands, and flow it through. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left foot steps, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse, and flow it through. Up dog, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Just breathe here with me. Inhale together. And exhale, let it go. Breath in through your nose. Open your mouth side out. One more. Make it count. Inhale, breath in. Exhale, breath out. Shift into your high plank. Right side, side plank. So just shift here. So keep your core nice and tight. Look up to your left hand. Maybe lifting your left leg if it's in your practice. Taking whatever variation this calls for for you. If you want to take a wild thing, you can drop your left foot back. Lift your hips here for five, four, three, two, one. High plank. Left side, side plank. So same thing. Squeeze your core tight. Lift your hips up. Look up towards your right hand. Lift your right leg if it's in your practice. Take it where you want. Maybe finding a wild thing, back bending for five, four, three, two, one. High plank. Keep the core nice and tight here. Lower five, four, three, two. Back up. Lower five, four, three, two. Back up. You got this, guys. Lower five, four, three, two. Up dog. Down dog, breathe in, breathe out, inhale together, and exhale together. One more breath in through your nose, breath out through your mouth, right foot steps to your hands, warrior one, open warrior two, reverse your warrior, stretch it out, and then find your side angle, so right forearm to your knee. Look up towards that left hand. Extended side angle, right hand down, left arm reaches. Maybe take a bind if it's in your practice. I'll stay here and Miranda will show you the bind. So taking it somewhere new. Breathing in this space for five, four, three, two, one. Rise up, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Hands to the mat, chaturanga. Strong chaturangas, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale, left foot steps, warrior one, warrior two, reverse your warrior, side angle, so same thing, finding your different variations, extend your side angle, maybe taking your half or full bind, or staying where you are, remember you don't have to graduate every single time, it's okay to be in the moment, Build the strength here, and then you'll be able to do all of that stuff in time. Come back up, warrior two. Stay strong in that front knee. Reverse your warrior. 
Hands to the mat, flow it through. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> breath in. And a breath out. All right, let's start to build. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your right leg high. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Flip your dog. Take this where you want. You don't have to flip if you don't want to. Maybe catching a wheel. It's still our pose of the month, even virtually. <laughs> Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on back. Keep that right leg up in the air, guys. Keep the core tight. Right knee, right elbow. Bring it in. Kick it back. Right knee, right wrist. Bring it in. Kick it back. Right knee, left elbow. Bring it in. Kick it back, right knee, left wrist, bring it in. Kick it back, right knee to nose, cheetah pose, squeeze, crescent lunge, drop it down. Drop to the back knee if you need to modify. If you don't need to modify, lift the back leg up. Arms up, elbows by the ears. 90 degree bend in that right knee. Press the back hamstring up, keep it active. Hands together, to your heart, lean forward, twist to the right. You're hooking the left elbow on the outside of that right knee, eventually splitting your hands if it's in your practice. Staying where you are, breathe into this twist for three, two, one, crescent lunge, warrior two, straighten out your front leg, lean forward and down, triangle pose. So in triangle pose, you want to focus on the opening of the left hip and the left shoulder. Your arms should be parallel. They should be reaching for opposite directions. The right hand should be floating in front of the right ankle. Take a breath in together here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. Hands to your hips. Take your right foot. Turn it. We're going to take our first straddle. So inhale, take a back bend, and then exhale, fold forward, dropping your hands to the mat. There's a headstand in your practice, and you don't want to kick, or you want to kick your house wall down, go ahead and take it. Just breathing here. Take it with you. We'll both go up for now. Everything else is upside down, so I guess we'll get upside down too. So you're still in your straddle if a headstand's not accessible. Coming back down if you're up. Pressing yourselves all the way back up. Turning that right foot to face the front of your room. Step the back foot up. So now they're one to two feet apart. Take opposite elbows, grab them behind your back. Inhale, take a back bend. And then exhale, fold forward. Eventually, dropping your hands to the mat, fingertips to face the back of the room. Make sure you still continue to breathe. This is a vinyasa flow, so it's important to pair your breath with your movement. Left hand stays down, right hand reaches up, twist your triangle. Breathe into this twist for three, two, one, fold forward, top of the mat. So let's go ahead and take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chaturanga. Let's flow. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let's do it all on the left. A little bit more power, guys, and then we'll be done with this power. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your left leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Flip your dog if it's in your practice. Taking this where you can, where you're able. Can you get into that back bend here? Maybe find that wheel, lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on back. Keep that left leg up in the air. Keep it nice and tight. Bring your left knee to your left elbow. Tap, kick it back. Left knee to your left wrist. Tap, kick it back. Left knee to your right elbow. Tap, kick it back. Left knee to your right wrist. Tap, kick it back, knee to your nose, cheetah pose, pull it in, drop it down, crescent lunge. Woo! Stay with us, guys. You guys got this. Arms up, 
Activate those legs, hands to heart center, twist forward, shift forward, twist left. So same thing, here's a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a twist. Split the hands if it's in your practice. Taking this where you'd like. Binding if you can connect. For three, two, one. Crescent lunge, rise up. Warrior two, open up. Straighten out the front leg, lean forward and down for triangle pose. So again, you're focusing on opening the shoulder and the hip at the same time. You can do that by looking up at the right fingertips. It allows your heart to open naturally. You're reaching in opposite directions with your arms. Triangle is one of my favorite postures. It just gets me all open. It feels very, very good. Take a breath in, exhale. Rise all the way up. Catch your hips. Step your back foot up so that they're one or two feet behind. Go ahead and take opposite elbows. Grab them behind your back. Inhale, look up, lean back. Exhale, fold forward, pyramid pose. Dropping your hands to the mat. Eventually, fingertips to face the back of the mat. Allow yourself to just melt and fold forward here. Make sure you continue to breathe. Right hand down. Left hand up, twist your triangle for three, two, one. Fold forward, guys, top of the mat. All right, so let's go ahead and rinse our shoulders. So take our hands behind our lower back, interlace our fingers, and then fold forward and just toss your hands overhead. So right now the goal is to just kind of open up the shoulder area. Maybe the back is a little bit tight. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you need it. If not, you can keep your knees locked for that hamstring stretch. Take one more breath in, and then drop your hands to the mat. Heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, slowly rise all the way up. So taking your hands overhead. Let's go into some balancing posture. So balancing is um, tough. It brings a lot of awareness out. So we're gonna do it from the side. We're gonna do it with you guys. It's not gonna be long, so jump right in, jump right out. We're gonna start with eagle. So right arm comes under, right leg comes over. Squeeze your thighs together. See if you can sit your hips down as low as you can towards the earth. Lift your elbows up away from your chest. Keep room for your heart. Set your drishti, that's where you look, that's your gaze. Squeeze those thighs, sit one more inch, and then release. Inhale, your arms up, left arm comes under, left leg comes up and over, same thing. Eagle on the left. We'll take this one in silence, I just want you guys to focus on your breathing. For three, two, one, release. Inhale, your hands high. Right hand back, right ankle, left hand up. Inhale, breath in, exhale, dancer. Just set your gaze, use your breath, stay here. Three, two, one, release, left arm, bring it back, right arm up. Inhale, breath in, exhale, charge forward. Really focus here, guys. Dancer requires a lot of pulling and forcing. So you're falling forward, you're kicking back. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Inhale, your hands high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breath in together. Breath out together. High plank position. Lower five, four, three, two, high plank. Stay with me. Lower five, four, three, two, high plank. Lower five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. So take your right cheek, put it on your mat. Hands back by your sides. We're gonna set up for a few back bends here. So when you're ready, bring your chin back to the center. Squeeze your toes and heels together. 
Go ahead and lift everything off your mat, locust pose. So in locust, you want your chin to come down to keep the neck nice and long. So keep lifting, keep pulling, keep looking down towards your mat for three, two, one, release. Bring your left cheek down to the mat. We'll move into Dhanurasana bow pose. So reach back, grab your ankles. Once your ankles are in hand, knees should come back together because naturally they tend to separate. So once you're ready, take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. On that next inhale, kick yourselves up. So coming up, see if you can rock. See if you don't get stuck here, you find a new edge. Even at home, you can still come into this posture all the way for five, four, kick those feet up, three, two, one, release. Hands to your rib cage. Knees into your chest. Windshield wiper them side to side. Break up those muscles in your lower back here, guys. We're almost there. We're almost to the end. Drop the feet. Upward facing dog. Breath in. Downward facing dog. Breath out. Inhale together. Exhale together. Let's bring our big toes to touch. Lift our right leg high. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Half pigeon right side. So our favorite hip opener, right? Bring your right leg forward. Walk your left foot back. Allow yourself to feel this in your hip first and then slowly come down to your mat, getting flatter and flatter. We're gonna stay here for one minute on each side. So go ahead and just find some space here. Allow your hip to open up. Don't get stressed out. The tension is a good thing. There's a difference between tension and pain. I say that every class. So just allow yourself to melt down. Drop your forehead, close your eyes. If there's a mermaid in your practice and you'd like to take it from half pigeon, you can take that now. Or you can just stay here with me or take mermaid with Miranda. And then when you're ready, pressing yourselves all the way up, finding your way back nice to your downward facing dog. Pedaling it out, taking a counter stretch if needed. When you're ready, bring your left uh, big toes to touch, lift your left leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Half pigeon, left side, step it forward. Allow yourself to slowly come down, melting onto your mat. Same thing, we're gonna be here for one minute. So allow yourself to get comfortable. And if there's a mermaid in your practice on this side and you'd like to take that, feel free to do that now. And then when you're ready, pressing yourselves all the way up, you're just going to swing onto your left hip. Swing this right leg around here. So you're going to be seated on your mat, legs out in front of you. Inhale, reach up for the ceiling, and then exhale, reach for your feet. So you're not necessarily just folding here. You want to keep a straight spine and your chest up. So try to push your chest forward, hinge from the hips, bend your elbows, pull yourselves down. You can drop your head. And then when you're ready, slowly coming down to your backs. We're gonna set up for bridge or wheel. So our pose of the month is wheel. 
Wheel is more advanced version of bridge, so we'll start with bridge and we'll move into wheel. So when you're ready, bring the soles of your feet to your mat, lift your hips up. So all you're doing is pressing your chin into your chest, lifting your hips up as high as you can get them, maybe coming onto your tippy toes to add a little bit of more strength here. Lift them high for five, four, three, two, one, tuck your chin, come back down. So bridge is an option for you. If you would like to move into wheel, you can move into wheel with us. So set your hands, set your feet, take a breath in, and then press up into that wheel. So lifting off of your mat here, being nice and big, taking any variation that you want to take today. This is your practice, so lift up. Get into that back bend. Feel the benefits of that spine just opening up here for five, four, three, two, one. Tuck your chin, come on down. Sutta Baddha Konasana. So soles of your feet touch like a butterfly stretch. We're gonna put one hand over our heart, one hand over our abdomen. Let's close our eyes for a moment to bring our heart rate down. Just allowing our knees to fall open here. Just breathing. And then let's do a little bit of core. So you guys know me, you know I never skip the ab portion of our class. So we're just gonna do a quick little burner. My challenge for you at home is to not let your feet touch the ground. So bring your hands behind your head, stand your feet up on the ceiling, and let's crunch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg to a two inch hold, right elbow, left knee, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, straighten out those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Stay with me. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bicycle, go. Ten, nine, pick up that pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug your knees in, give yourselves a moment, and then bring your hands underneath your sit bones, underneath your butt. Legs up to 90, 90, 60, 30, two inches, flutter, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90. Stay with me, 60, 30, two inches, layer, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, 60, 30, two inches, open, close, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, 60, 30, two inches, side to side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, last one, 60, 30, boat, pull yourselves up. So if you need to grab your knees for a moment, grab your knees, collect yourselves. And then let go of your knees. We're gonna do five. You know we always do five, so stay with me. Open up the chest, straighten out the legs. Lower three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Breathe. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Woo, last one. Three, two, one, up. Hold it here. Lower down five, four, three, two, get to that two inch hold and hold for five, four, three, two, one, release. Smile, take your hands overhead here guys. Stretch out that abdomen. And then when you're ready, we're gonna start to close out our class. So everyone come down off the wall a little bit. If there's a wall near you, you're gonna take your feet, kick them overhead for our inversion called plow pose. If your feet touch the ground, you can bring your hands down to your mat. Opening up that spine. Shoulder stand. 
So inversions, the goal of an inversion is to get our feet higher than our heart, right? We want to get our feet higher than our heart, higher than our head. All of the blood flow is flowing from our feet down to the other parts of our body so that when we eventually come back onto our feet, it improves our circulation. It's like fresh blood being distributed all down to our legs. So it's very important at the end of your class to get your feet up, even if you take legs up the wall, just get them above your head. Drop them back, Deaf Yogi. And then slowly, to protect your spine, come out one vertebrae at a time here. Keep your knees into your chest. We're gonna stay on our backs. We're gonna go ahead and bring our knee, our right knee in towards our chest. Give it a nice big pull. With the left hand, grab the outside of the knee and take it over to your left side for spinal twist. So your right shoulder and your right hand, as you can see here, is planted down to the mat. You're gonna look over your right shoulder, which is why I'm looking at you guys right now. So just opening up this lower back with this supine spinal twist. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, come back to center, drop that leg down. Let's switch sides. So left knee in, and then take it over to the right. Looking over your left shoulder. One more breath. And then exhale, come on back. When you're ready, grab your inner arches of your feet for a happy baby. So you're just gonna rock side to side here, opening up the legs, massaging the muscles around the lower back, shoulders and spine. And then eventually moving into your savasana. So hands by your sides, feet are wide. So for most of us at home, we may feel like this is the part of our practice that we can skip. The work is done. We don't really need to lay here for a few minutes. But this is the part that's gonna reset you. This is the part that's gonna get you going forward. It's gonna be the part that allows your body to relax. It allows your heart rate to slow down. So allow yourself to just have this time. Hands are face up, palms are face up, your fingers are just relaxing. Try to relax the muscles in your legs, in your thighs, in your hips. Scan and notice your abdomen, how it feels. Maybe your chest feels a little bit heavy, allow your chest to get a little bit lighter. Allow your shoulders to melt into your mat. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Relax your jaw, close your eyes. Bring all of your awareness to only your breath right now. Those deep inhales and those deeper exhales. And just taking a few more moments here. And then when you're ready, just slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe roll your ankles, roll your wrists, bring awareness back into your body. Inhale your arms overhead. Take a nice big good morning stretch. Be proud of the work that you put in today. And then give yourselves a hug. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and rock over to your right side. So just pausing here for another moment.
before using your left hand to press yourselves up to seated. Keeping your eyes closed, finding Sukhasana, easy, comfortable seat, taking your legs, making them cross-legged. Bring your hands to heart center. So at the end of our practice, we always wanna be grateful and honor three things. The first being our body for what it allows us to do on our mats. The second, we wanna honor our community, if now more than ever, for supporting one another. We're all here for a different reason, but we generally have the same purpose for visiting our mats today. And the third, for honoring this space, the space that again will be open soon, it's a space that allows us to go and disconnect from the real world and the reality of everything going on. So bring your hands to your third eye center. The light in me honors and sees the light in every one of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bow forward to seal your practice. Namaste. 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 Great job, guys. If you have any questions, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs>